What's up, Rito? Shea Tree Surgeon here with the one, the only single winner of Road King Kong. My man, Mike, lost on the road 21 now? Yep. Lost on the road 21. I'll have a link to his Instagram down below. He was previously a social media denier, said, I don't do Instagram. And I said, welcome to your new life after winning Road King Kong. Now you do Instagram. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm not keeping up with this bike after he takes it back home to Portland. I want to see it on all its adventures. Now everyone can stop saying, Saying, what did you give the bike away did it ever get given away yes this is mike's bike <laughs> how did it feel when you when you got the call and you won the motorcycle man uh complete utter this ain't real <laughs> i mean does it feel real yet this would be your first time riding it yeah first time i it felt real when i sat on it yesterday and revved it up <laughs> Well, it's gonna be feel even more real today. So we're hopping on the bikes. We're heading over for the whole reason that all this happened in the first place. Me and Mike are going to Forgotten Angels to meet David. So I love these questions about Harley Davidsons when I got my man here who's been nothing but metric bikes. He goes, how do you get the gas in the bike? Check out this trick stuff. Yeah, there you go. Don't over tighten it. <laughs> Don't try to twist that one off, right? Well, that's what I did in the old one. So I, I made the joke when they when they freaking built this one for me, they're like, can you please put something there besides a gas cap so he doesn't do that again? STD 1100, the Gonorrhea Glide. Hey, at least we match. They're both red bikes. They're both in V configurations, right? They're both kind of baggers. Oh, I love this. Lost on the Road 21, his very first time on his 2019 Road King Kong. The 131, baby! It's finally belongs with its rightful owner. And let me tell you, I can't see his face from here, but I bet he is ear to ear. All right, Mike, time to achieve ramming speed on the 131 for the first time. Let me tell you guys, it's a life-changing experience. It'll bring you closer to the Lord or... <laughs> maybe a different master. Mike and his old lady were up at the Dirty Shane last night playing obituary and combi Christ on the jukebox, so I don't know if they're uh, if they're bending the knee on Sunday or not, but they're, they're still doing good things, okay? You could be a bad person and you can do a good thing. And sometimes even when you're a bad person and you do a good thing, you win like Mike over there, he got the bike. As I always say, that's not why you do it. That's not why Mike did it. That when, he, when I called him, those were the first words out of his mouth. He said, I never expected to win. I just wanted to donate to Forgotten Angels. And, and my fuel light's on. So Mike might get the entire Shade Tree Army experience and have to ride me two up on the Road King to get some gas for the STD 1100. I can't tell you guys how happy I am. Somebody cool won the Road King. I mean, I, I appreciate every Everybody who bought a ticket, everyone who bought a ticket is amazing and you can be assured that 100% of every ticket you bought went directly to benefit Forgotten Angels and kids who've aged out of the foster care system. If you know what group homes are like, at least in Florida, you know that how absolutely terrible they are. And it's Dave and Cindy's goal to, to shut down every, you know, every bad acting group home around. I don't know if it's a goal they can ever reach because as long as there's money involved, as long as people are using kids without parents, foster kids, as long as people are using kids without risk as a way to profit, which is what they are doing instead of what Dave and Cindy are doing, the problem will never end. But just because the problem never ends doesn't mean you stop fighting it. And every dollar on every air raffle ticket, all you guys bought, went to fund that war. Anyway, before I get lost in my monologuing, as I am wont to do, back to what I was talking about. I'm so glad it was Mike. I'm so glad it was somebody cool. Great dude. Uh, started riding as an adult. I think he's in his 40s now. Didn't get his motorcycle license until he was in his early 30s, which is a story I love because there's a lot of people out there who are going like, oh, you know, I didn't learn how to ride when I was a kid. So, uh, you know, I can't have a bike now. Bull crap, dude. You can get your motorcycle license at 55, 65, 70. I don't care. Get it whenever. You only get one go around. Buy the bike. Life is short. Take the plunge. Jump in feet first without looking, baby. It's gonna be all right. The very worst that could happen is you die. And let me tell you what, that's gonna happen anyway. What do you think, man? I love four. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it the best? I just run to get on it, but I'll get that off. I'll get that off. <laughs> it never gets old, dude. All right, well, I can't show, show them Forgotten Angels without a beer. Come on. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not good. Come on, cool down. Cool down. You can do it. Yeah, this poor old ST1100. Uh, uh, I don't know if I just like spit coolant one too many times or exactly what's going on with it, but it is it is not happy. Unless you are moving at a brisk pace of 50 or above and not accelerating very hard, it's wanting to spit coolant on me. So I need to go ahead, park this thing, get get the low rider S, and then figure out exactly why this thing's running hot. I know these things, everyone already says the ST1100s run hot anyway. So we got to figure this out. Said he's really getting the whole shade tree experience right now. Not only did I almost run out of gas, but now I'm not even sure if my motorcycle will actually make it to our location either. I mean, this is what it's like, okay? <laughs> not only for a $25 raffle ticket to win this next Harley, the Lowrider S, which is also going to get a 131, not only do you get the bike, but you get the full crappy friend shade tree experience. We'll hang out. I'll show up late. My motorcycle will run out of gas. It might break down. We might get pulled over by the cops. You might not remember tomorrow because you drank so much. The whole package. Oh my God. As we turn on to Stearns Road, <laughs> just barely hovering underneath the red on my temp gauge, Shade Tree Surgeon gets away with it again. Here we are, Mike. Little Stearns Road. The whole reason that Road King got given away in the first place. It's got to feel good. And it always feels good to me, too, when everybody came for the camp out when everybody went down this little winding road and by the way forgotten angels is open at any time you can come here whenever you can pull up whenever there's no nothing saying you can't just pull up and check it out and say what's up at any time i didn't call ahead but when you come down this road you go through these two lakes and you come onto this property and you see these young men out here having their tiny homes and living their lives and doing better you know exactly where your money went and it feels like home even to wicked sinners like us what's up david <laughs> oh yeah he's got a greet he's got a greet to my man over here what's up david <laughs> the first time i've seen you since we rode across the country together all sorts of people winning out here number one is my man's over here you mind being on camera my man's over here which i always understand not want to be on camera but let me tell you everybody loved you on stage everybody loved your voice <laughs> the shay lisi duet the thing of legend he's also working on he's also working on a book and a graphic novel or is it the script for a graphic novel uh, here's the actual whole idea so it's a kind of a card game that i kind of want to convert into like a story that has like this playable aspect to it, it has multiple stories i want to yes. make like a marvel universe that you have cards that like nft cards that you play with your phone I, like devices dude i love it even more yeah. so i'm a big warhammer fan <laughs> i'm a big D, &D fan like dude yeah. let's do it man yeah. keep an eye out when it's when it's ready when the first previews are ready you'll see it here first and that's one of the things i love out, about out here in this beautiful place there's no stifling of creativity as creative as you want to be and the world needs more writers and singers. it really does yeah <laughs> i love it get in the picture baby all right man mike got the entire tour of the property which i think is so cool because at the end of the day you can buy a 25 dollars raffle ticket you can feel good about it but you can look and see exactly what, what i always say out here and i hear other people saying it now too and it makes me so happy is you can come out here and you can see where every single dollar went you can look around you and go like dollar went there and there and there and there and this is what we did and this is why this road king got given away and that's where all that money went. And trust me, if you've ever seen how expensive it is to have, uh, what, close to 20 children? <laughs> <laughs> Close to 20 kids, 20 adult kids. If you have one teenager, you know how expensive it is. Which is why that one's going home with my man Mike, and that bike over there is going to somebody else. Because <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't stop with one. But at least we're having fun. So I've been pressuring David more like pressuring myself. But yes, we have a date for the next Forgotten Angels camp out on this property the weekend of March 18th block it off if you went to the last one you know it's a, hell, a hellacious party that a uh, very kind folk around here let us have i'm very thankful for that and uh even mike might be joining us down so you might try to ride road king kong cross country and come down for that camp out block it off march 18th don't miss that one and for now uh i still gotta work for a living <laughs> just like just like everybody out here just like all the boys out here let's hit the road mike we gotta go Mmm, the 114, the low rider S. Let me tell you what though, this thing ain't gonna stay a 114 for long. Now this is something, two Forgotten Angels raffle bikes 
two forgotten angel bikes riding side by side, one with its new owner, one with so much potential, both potential for horsepower and mayhem, and potential as this bike could already belong to one of you. Stains the reason the person watching this video right now, one of you guys with your eyeballs on the screen right now, this is your bike. Feels good, don't it? <laughs> you could definitely buy a faster bike, obviously, but that amount of torque never gets old. It never gets old. <laughs> They're fun, man. Ooh, this is definitely a lot different than riding the old ST1100. Everyone likes to say that, oh, the ST1100s are kind of quick, but <laughs> let me tell you, it ain't got nothing on this 114. And this is basically a stock 114. My man, Mike over there has been riding around the road king. He ate at Zydeco Brew Works, one of my favorite spots last night, hanging out at the Dirty Shame all night, playing the jukebox, getting drunk. And today, <laughs> I got him taken to my favorite place, guarded by this shady ass strip mall. That's right, baby. Pub, the Stein and Vine. A trip to Tampa just ain't complete without it. Stein and Vine, always, always, always. Wait, never, never, never disappoints. Ahi tuna tacos. We've got the spider tacos. Dude, I love a soft shell crab, dude. I can't say no to that at all. If I see soft shell crab on the menu, listen up, baby. It's gonna happen. Baby, they do it a little bit different. Oh, change of religion. Delicious. What do we think, Mike? Delicious. Hell yeah. Well, me and Lost on the Road 21 here, old Mike from Portland, also a coastal city, are both full of creatures from the sea. Living in Portland, that dude is going to be loving some sea creatures. Uh, we ain't no different down here in Florida. Listen up, baby. It's about what you got in common, not about what's different. Sea creatures and motorcycles. That's just about enough for me. Oh, man. We're on cool, loud Harley Davidsons riding through this beautiful Florida winter. It's like 78 degrees out. The humidity is down to pretty much like 60%. Mike's dying. <laughs> Mike's having a rough time. He's just going like, man, I can't believe how humid it is here. I'm just going to tell me, uh, listen, come July, your sweat does not even evaporate. So you enjoy it, damn it. Now they got a couple beers and some fried crab in me. I don't want to go to work, but uh, there's worse places to spend 12 hours than a bar, so I ain't gonna cry that hard. Tell you, sitting back there at the Steiner Vine, having a long conversation with Mike from Portland back there, Lost on the Road 21, and about all his adventures and his traveling and what he's had to go through to do it. Talking about how selling stock just to take a, a three week long vacation because him and his wife wanted to do it. And I love that so much. I, I love that this bike went to somebody who's truly going to appreciate it. Who's we were just talking about his social anxiety and his fears and how he has to overcome all these things in order to travel and in order to do the things he wants. I don't know if you believe in fate. I really don't. But if I did believe in fate, and I don't, but if I did, I would say that the hand of fate guided that motorcycle to somebody who's truly going to appreciate it, who's truly going to utilize it, who's truly going to do what it's meant to be done, which is just ride the goddamn wheels off it. And I love that. It could have gone to anyone, but it went to somebody like Mike, and I really, really like that. And like I say to all you guys, y'all could have spent that 25 bucks on a raffle ticket, you could have spent it anywhere. You could have spent it on a raffle where there, it doesn't go to a charity at all. It goes to profit somebody. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind profit. I'm, I'm not saying that's bad but you chose to spend it here. You know, whatever is what is, whether you're, you believe in yourself, your conscience, or fate, or whatever it is, whatever guided you here to buy a $25 raffle ticket for that bike, to maybe buy another one for this bike right here, which is about to get exponentially more badass. It's going to good people, and it's doing good things. I feel good right now. I feel really, really good. And y'all should too. That was fucking all right, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna be riding again tomorrow, but that was fucking all right. Day two of our time with Mike, and he's given me precious cargo. Uh, I don't 
blame either of them for uh, not wanting you on the back of a bike that he's just learning how to ride, that doesn't have a backrest, that also makes like 140 horsepower. Let's just be realistic here. One advantage the Bangkok bagger does have over the <laughs> Road King Kong is we get to listen to music. You guys are from Portland. I hope you like country music. Uh, do you? Do you like it? Okay, all right. <laughs> Baby, Toby Keith should have been a cowboy. Baby, there ain't no should have, we is. Headed out to Burt's Barracuda right now with a couple of skateboards in tow. Mike lost on the road 21 and his old lady also in tow. Let's go have a good time. Well, we're about 20 minutes away and it's uh, <laughs> 30 minutes till kickstands up. We'll see what we can do. Bangkok baggers barely running. I'll tell you, Mike's wife is on the back here. I don't know if you made the better choice or not. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Instead of choosing Mike's bike, the Road King with uh, no backrest, you, sh you chose a 35-year-old motorcycle that barely runs and falling apart, squeaks over every bump, no suspension, piloted by a man who worked all night last night at the pub after riding all day with Mike, and I still haven't slept. I'm running on fumes, feeling manic as hell, baby. Let's do it to it. I feel like a million bucks. People always say, where do you get that energy from? How do you keep going 24, 36, 48 hours at a time? I have no idea. I pull from an unending well of ultimate power. It might run out one day and I'll get burned, but until then, damn the torpedoes, baby. I'll tell you all this right now, when you're burning that candle at both ends, it might run out quick, but you can see clear as day. Okay, about to pull up on Burt's now. I have no idea how many people to expect for a toy run. How many people usually show up for a toy run? I will tell you, it's Burt and he doesn't half-ass anything. So, <laughs> I'm imagining it's gonna be a little more than uh, extraordinary. Yeah, judging from the amount of cops here, oh my God, look at that freaking parking lot. <laughs> Wild, holy mackerel. Dude, there's so many people here. Holy moly, no wonder they gotta have wristbands and registrations. Look at this. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Josh, nice to meet you, dude. Come here, Beth. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Number one, baby. Number one. <laughs> Freaking so cool, man. Huh? That's the guy. It's the guy. Dude, can you believe they let us up here with these Hondas, with these cool freaking choppers? Dude, freaking Paul Sr.'s personal panhead over there is freaking out of control. Not gonna lie right now, I'm pretty starstruck. <laughs> uh, if you had told me when I was 21 years old, when I was 21 years old, I only wanted two things out of life. I wanted a fast motorcycle and a hot stripper girlfriend. Well, let me tell you something right now. Be careful what you wish for. But if you had told my 21 year old ass with a mediocre looking stripper girlfriend and a slow motorcycle that one day I'd be riding with Paul Sr., I'd have called you a liar. Hey, look at that. All of us are on hardtails right now. I love it. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, I don't know if this is gonna be a record breaking toy run or <laughs> if there if there even is a record currently standing for the most motorcycles in a toy run but if there is this one's got to be damn close hell yeah i think we're getting to piggyback off of all of paul senior's waves <laughs> everyone, everyone waves to him and then we wave and then they just keep on waving afterwards it's awful nice it makes me feel very popular yeah we're definitely picking it piggybacking off of his waves that's all right i'll take it i love florida <laughs> How <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm so glad that Mike's getting to see the water out here on the beach like this. Oh, wait a second. He's from Portland. He gets to see water all the time. Never mind. Happy birthday! It's absolutely freaking wild, man. How many people there are? You know how long it took to get them all out? How long? 28 minutes. 28 minutes, he says, to get every bike out of here. Aha! Fellow Goldwing! I love it, dude. 
How cool is this? Yeah. I'm already seeing lots of dangerous toys here, which I like. Let's add a let's add a little more delinquency into the world, all right? Shade Tree Surgeon and Shay Lisi Rap Star Edition Sketch Skateboards. Look, in. look at Bert over here, dude. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, with the cowboy boots. Oh, my Lord. Save some for the rest of us. Burt King over here. You look so amazing. Oh, my and, God. From his, who is this? From his head to his toes, no, is baby. This? I'm an elf. <laughs> hey, I got something for you. Okay. Come on. Out here in the parking lot after the toy run, we're out here with my girl, Lioness. You want to talk about name? I love Lioness. She's got an ache hanging off her neck. This looks like a bat girl right here, let me tell you. The most beautiful things in life are dangerous. <laughs> my man, I'm all talking about line. I already forgot your name. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about walking through a motorcycle parking lot and seeing somebody's bike and what it takes to walk by somebody's bike who obviously has their light on as I'm just sitting here jabbing and letting the battery die even further and go, do you turn it off or do you just, do you turn it off and help them out or do you just walk away because you don't want to touch another person's bike? Today, we're going to go ahead and choose to turn it off because come on, man, the light's on. He's probably in there partying. And if this is your bike and I just fucked you over by turning it off because you got some reason it shouldn't be, I'm sorry. But trust me, my heart was in the right place. Right. <laughs> is the light off? All right, the light off. All right, all right. Okay, so I hope I didn't do anything bad, but you know, good, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's right. <laughs> We've been having such a good time here at Burt's. I had to come in and, and go inside for a Wait a second. My God, a vision, a beauty. I cannot believe the good Lord has seen fit to throw this creature in my path. Give me your hand, let me experience you. Baby, I've seen the light. I've been baptized by the fire in your touch and the flame in your eye. This girl has got me born to love again. Oh, geez, oh, Pete, man. <laughs> I didn't think I could fall in love so fast. Oh, oh. Ah, let me get out of here before I get in trouble. You got jealous boyfriend, jealous husband, yeah. jealous girlfriend. Uh, well, okay, now we're coming back. <laughs> you see any rings on my fingers? Oh, my no. favorite kind of girl. If she got a ring, I'll put, I'll, put every, I'll, I'll put a ring on every single one except the one that matters. <laughs> I might be a good dog, but listen up, baby. I'm still a dog. You're just walking out here with my man AJ, Dino Bro <laughs> Special. He just goes, this monkey literally blew past me at 70 plus miles an hour on the highway. <laughs> it's got Oleans and a Yoshimura. I don't know what's going on inside this little tiny engine over here, <laughs> but it sounds cool. <laughs> good times at Bird. It was absolutely amazing, but me, Mike, and Dana. <laughs> Whose name? That's why everyone was like, why does he keep calling her Mike's old lady, Mike's wife? That's because I forgot her name because I'm a big old piece of crap. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. You can't, a tiger can't change its shit stripes. <laughs> We're rolling back to the dirty shame because, you know, I'm carrying precious cargo here and I'm living myself to only two beers, but I, let's, let's get, let's get her back in a car before I go full shade tree surgeon mode. <laughs> All right, you don't want the full, full experience. Take it easy. We ain't gonna make that sound. I'm sorry, Dana. <laughs> Sounds like a microwave on defrost. David, we're heading back to the shame. The microwave is on full defrost and we're heading back to Tampa to the home base. Dirty shame where we get some serious drinking done. I'll tell you guys, I don't want Mike to go back. Me, Mike, and Dana, Mike and Dana, Dana's wife, we've been having an awesome time. He fits in just like a puzzle piece that was missing down here in Tampa. And I don't want him to go back to Portland. Like we've been having the best time ever. And I, I love that. I, I love that so much because like, yeah, I know everybody watches the videos. I but not only do I appreciate it, but I hope that you guys enjoy it and you, you, you feel like you the content is good. Yeah, people usually let me know if they don't like stuff and I usually either ignore it or or take note of it depending on how many people are saying something but i try my best to make good content because i like everybody who watches the channel because i've met so many people something i always do is i really try to go out of my way and i have to go out of my way because it's something i like to do to meet the people who watch the channel 99 times out of 100 when i meet somebody who watches the shade tree surgeon channel and it's the shade tree surgeon channel but i'm just josh i promise you whenever i meet somebody there's such a kindred spirit 99 times out of 100 they're just somebody that, I'm like, if you lived here, we would be friends. 
because we share interests and we all both love motorcycles and we both love odd things and weird stuff. It just, it, I feel so fortunate because it draws people that I know I would be close with. It, it makes the world a smaller place for me. So instead of just having Tampa and my circle of people that I know I like and I get along with, I have the whole world now. And I, I, every day I'm thankful for that. Every time I meet another person who's just like me, who watches this channel, I'm thankful again for YouTube making the world a smaller place. And that's, uh, welcome to, that's the end of my TED talk, okay? <laughs> that's the end of my five hanky production talking about how, how beautiful YouTube is. Let's go have some fun. What in the hell is going on here? I didn't know this was gonna be happening. Nobody notified me. This is, this ain't my marketplace. <laughs> All right, so we're out here with Kirby Kelsey who put this stuff on. Our friends here, do you guys have an Instagram page? I do, I have a little Boho Thrift Therapy. I've seen several people buy stuff from them and I've thought that it's not expensive enough. You guys need to raise your prices. They just showed me something really awesome right there, like somebody paid $17 for it. I'm about to pay triple that. Are you kidding me? So what do you have, what do you have for sale? Titties. Ooh, that one. <laughs> Baby, come on, is that a candle? Yes, it is. I like that. I actually, that's the one I like. I want that one. Digital disco. I just told this girl, whatever you got to do to lose that double underscore, please do it. Because this double underscore digital disco. And how could this so striking? I walked over here. Dude, I've fallen in love. I think it's my record. I've fallen in love like 12 times today. Lucky number 13, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sell me a piece of art. <laughs> Come on, digital disco. Soon to be digital disco for 2069. <laughs> I like the guns too. But I like these I also like the too. cowboy boots. Yeah. How much for one in a frame? Are you selling the framed ones? I'm getting framed for 15. Digital disco just sold me the original for an undisclosed amount of money. I got into bidding war with AJ, but I tripped him and pushed him down. It's a hate crime, actually. Listen up, baby. I got a gleam in my eye and a prayer in my heart. I should have been a cowboy, baby. Let me loose on the range. And so we walked up here, and when I walked over here and I saw, and I got gold teeth too, so listen up, baby. I should have been a cowboy. Listen up, baby. We love country music and dissidents. <laughs> it's always nice to see familiar faces here. Familiar faces, familiar places. Come on over here and let me experience your essence, girl. Come on. Want you, want you frog go on over here. And, uh, go ahead. Here, I say, I saved this spot just for you. Oh, right next to Don't let me and Kirby get a hold of you. <laughs> we saw you from across the bar and we love your vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to come home and do some uh, CBD? <laughs> some, some, some diet weed? Yeah. weed. <laughs> Alright, let's pick out something for sure. Actually, I like this. This is going to be a raffle item. That right there. Oh my god, it's so trashy. And it says Harley Davidson on it. And it's about, wait, these are all Harley Davidson too. Yes. yes, that's us. That's getting raffled off. How much? I'll pay anything. 30 bucks? Hell no. I'm just kidding. Yes. I'll take two. You'll take two. Oh my god, I love your glasses. Thank you very much. How do I get to pull off glasses? Like, can I wear, could you think I could? Come on. Come over here and put them on, man. Alright. The big reveal. I got a big head. Watch out. Ooh, uh, baby, let me tell you what I got a deal for you. I'm swimming. Oh, listen up. Your style, your grace, the length of your arms. Your <laughs> I'll take you to Hollywood and I'll make you a star. Make me a star. I'm going offer you can't <laughs> refuse. Oh, Shade Tree Surgeon. You're going to take this girl right here. Shoo, shoo. Baby, you ain't going to see nothing like I'm doing. I'm sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> I mean, know I love you. <laughs> she has a boyfriend. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I'm not a good fighter. <laughs> this one over here, I let old Rats and Wrath pick it out herself. Let let me tell you what, boys. They make everything bigger in Texas, including uh, well, the coffee cup is actually kind of a normal size, but yeah. it's from our girl over here. Hey, what's up? I'm Josh. Hello. I think you're very pretty. I saw you from across the bar. <laughs> Hey. Hey, hello, what size shoe do you wear? Stop. I'm in danger. <laughs> <What>? Stop. <laughs> you can say it. Give her money. Give her money. 
seven and a half. Oh my God, I knew it. Kirby, I told you. <laughs> now you owe her more. Oh my God, a seven and a half. Right now, I'm like, I'm gonna go home and I'm working on sculpture of this. Ten times the size. Don't hate on size nine. What's up, weirdos? Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Michael, I'm building, I'm writing a poem about the smallest eyelash on his face. What a handsome boy. What a beautiful boy. He smells pleasant. He says nice things. Press your face against this one. Let's buy some coffee. Okay. <laughs> a vision, a beauty. <laughs> The lady, your you money. How much, what do you want? Everything? You can have it. Check her out. More de rouge. Pull it up on your phone so we can, I can pull my camera at it and everyone can know where to follow this absolute beauty. More de rouge. Are you kidding me? All I want you to do is tell me everything, every single thought in your head. Going for the record breaking, I've had my heart broken so many times. We're, we're killing the record. I think the previous record was I've had my heart broken six or seven times I come over here snake eyes I saw I saw this one from across the room I tripped over my big fat feet coming over here I broke my neck I came over here I could I could not stop myself beyond myself whatever you have to sell listen up I'm buying I just uh, what size shoe do you wear me so I'm sitting up here at, at dirty shame and the rat and rat market hey, hey, Talk about four girls walking in here. I've never gotten my heart broken four times in a row. Yeah, oh, today. oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I've never been hurt more and I've never liked it more. <laughs> Oh my, dude, I saw these girls coming from across the street. I said, listen up, girls, you might walk in, but you're gonna have to shoot your way out. Oh. <laughs> Check out my music. Go oh, ahead. Music, yeah, what is it? It's on. on every platform. I got Bossy Lil Freak, so like, my single. Can you buy that? I'm gonna I'm put it on there. No, yeah, you gotta make it your music. I'm about to take it. Bossy, bossy Lil Freak. Bossy Lil Freak. Shit, yeah, girl. Bossy Lil Freak. Hey. Bossy Lil Freak. Bossy Lil Freak. She a freaky girl, but she ain't bossy like Marcy. I am it to get in love with me. I made him think he gon' love me. Boom, a check, he gon' come for me. Just like a dog, he gon' help me. Feed him this pussy like pedigree. Tell you what, I've never felt so special in my life, and I've never just wanted someone just to tell me what to do, tell me to tell me to shut up, buy your oh, groceries, you pay, your rent, shut up. Pay, pay your rent, hey. pay your phone bill. Oh my gosh, y'all kill. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for this video. Good times had by all, or at least good times had by me, and that's what really matters, isn't it? There's two things I want to leave off with at the end of this video. One, the gauntlet has been thrown. My man Adam Sandoval is also building an off-road sportster. It's gonna be a little bit different than mine, but uh, we're in a, what I'll call a healthy competition, which is not normal for me. Usually I really like unhealthy competitions. Make sure you head over to Adam Sandoval's channel, check out his sportster build. He should actually have a video coming out on it today, and uh, let me tell Tell you boys he might not be calling it a race but it's a race secondly all this fun aside everything aside yes we have our fun we have our parties we do our things we go around we raise hell we ride motorcycles too fast i yell at the top of my lungs but at the end of the day i want to love this video off with one thing and that's the fact that we are raffling off another bike we're also raffling off a 2021 ford ranger tremor and that goes with the bike it's going to be a ford ranger pulling a 131 lowrider ass on a trailer uh, for 25 bucks that entire thing could be yours but just like i always say it's not about winning the prize it's about doing a good thing this is chaotic good this is bad people doing good things and you can go there and you can see what your money does you can see what your 25 bucks does 
does, the link's gonna be down below. I encourage you to help out because let me tell you, there's not a lot of places out there doing stuff like Dave and Cindy are doing right now. These kids, it's called Forgotten Angels because these children are truly forgotten. They're left behind by society. They're left behind by their parents, the people who are supposed to care so much. They're left behind by the government that's supposed to, these social programs that are supposed to look out for them. They're just passed out onto the street with nothing. You can make a difference. We can make a difference. I hope I see you guys at the camp out in March. Please buy a ticket. It's down below. You can rest assured that that money is going to a good cause. And till the next party, till next time, till the next good thing, the next bad thing, and a little bit in between. Keep it weird, y'all.